time series graphs allow for a fair comparison of data over a specified time period. You can view time series graphs as a series of snapshots taken at regular intervals. They're an ideal tool for dashboards as they help end users quickly identify a trend, spot an outlier in a cyclical pattern, or analyze how key metrics have changed over time. Here are a few examples of metrics we monitor with time series graphs here at LogRocket. Time for a page to load. We utilize this graph to see when there are spikes in page load times, and if there are, we can drill down and investigate why the spike in load time occurred. High memory usage. We like to keep the memory usage of LogRocket consistent. Spikes shouldn't happen, and we like to look into them. Finally, browser crash frequency. No one likes browser crashes. If we see a trend or a spike, we want to dig into the detail to resolve it. Let's create a time series metric of our own. Another metric we like to track at LogRocket is 500 errors. As with all LogRocket metrics, the best way to begin is to ask a question. In this case, I would like to know the answer to, how many 500 errors have occurred in my application over time? Since the question includes over time, we know that time series is the ideal metric to answer this question. To begin, make sure you're on the Metrics tab. Then select Add Chart. This will be a custom metric, and the name will be 500 errors. The metric type will be time series, and we'll be looking for session count, as we'd like to know the number of sessions that encountered the 500 error. In order to make sure we're only capturing 500 errors, we need to add a filter, and we will select Network Requests. The URL will be any, as we're looking for 500 errors throughout our application. The status code will be equal to 500, and while we can customize this further, we don't need to, as we're looking for an error that occurred throughout the application. As with all LogRocket metrics, you can add an alert where necessary. Click this link to learn how to add an alert. Now, save chart. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that our 500 error chart is now here. If you'd like to change the duration of the chart, you can adjust it in the upper right hand corner of the dashboard. As we review, we can see a few spikes in 500 errors. If you drill down, you can now see the sessions that encountered this error. You can watch these sessions to gain context and see exactly when the error occurred, so you can resolve it quickly and go back to creating the ideal web experience.